Take your name. My name is Jonathan Thompson. I'm from Pawtucket. I'm actually in the Johnson's district. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm just using my phone here today. I ran into some uh, technical difficulties. And I'm also going to, if I'm allowed to, read another uh, personal statement as well. Testimony. Um, I am here today in favor of House Bill 5992. I have a degree, a Bachelor of Science degree in Marine Engineering and am currently employed as an authorized nuclear inspector. I am strongly opposed to the many facets of geoengineering, weather manipulation, and modification. Globally, we are all seeing debates around climate change and the staunchly held beliefs on both sides. We also hear vitriolic criticism being bandied around about on both sides of that debate. However, very ironically, we never hear in, in those contexts anything referencing geoengineering, weather manipulation, weather modification, or cloud seeding. Geoengineering is purported to involve artificial man-made strategies to counteract or delay climate change without dis disrupting energy and resource intensive economic economies through mitigation. Many of these strategies are still in the early stages. None has been proven safe or effective for humanity, biodiversity, agriculture, private property, or the overall environment itself. Indeed, many are known to be very harmful. One such strategy is carbon dioxide removal, CDR. This is an over-amplified over -amplified rate of process that naturally occurs in nature through the carbon cycle itself. The simplified intention is to capture excessive carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and pump the carbon underground through carbon capture and sequestration by means of high pressure. Another option that was earlier proposed along with this was storing carbon dioxide in the ocean, also known as ocean fertilization. It is actually the um, increase of acidity in the oceans. However, this was banned under a moratorium. Therefore, the more popular choices were underground storage of carbon through BECS, which is also which is called bioengine bioenergy with carbon capture and storage and CCS, carbon capture and storage. These these are just some of the strategies proposed to eliminate greenhouse gases and excess CO2 in the atmosphere, which have overridden the prior, more natural alternatives of afforestation, um, afforestation and reforestation. These BETS and CCS techniques, as well as others under the umbrella of geoengineering, have been admitted by proponents as risky interventions, lacking technical maturity, and extremely costly. It is apparent that many of these solutions pose enormous technical, economical, and social challenges, not to mention the potential of violating the property rights of every Rhode Island resident in proximity to these actions. Mr. Thompson, there's an, American, there's an American Declaration of Rights of the in Indigenous Peoples, which Im implies that Indigenous Peoples are entitled to prior consent before geoengineering operations and to, and to restitution and compensation for damages caused by such operations. This is, the, this is also an infraction of the rights of Rhode Island residents where our rights to life, liberty, and property are already being eroded. These needs to be, this needs to be a call for an open debate as there is no informed consent.
Thank you, Mr.